Kia of Bloomington has new Kias arriving weekly. Come drive the new 2023 models like the Sportage, Seltos, and Sereno. Then reserve yours. Luther Kia of Bloomington. Shop LutherKiaofBloomington.com. And for our wild breakaway presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington with Mark Parrish, I'm Anthony LaPanta at the XL Energy Center where the Maple Leafs defeated the Wild 4-3 on Friday afternoon. The Leafs played from in front most of this game and finally were able to stretch it out to a two-goal lead thanks to William Nylander. They did. They, they played hard. Toronto played very, very good. They were able to get the lead early on on the Minnesota Wild. And then, of course, we saw this goal late uh, from William Nylander. He's a guy, when he gets open, he gets a chance to get free at the top of the circles with his shot, his release right here, walking down Main Street. I don't care if you got Marc-Andre Fleury now. I don't care if you who you have in the net. That is an awfully tough save, and it came up on top for Toronto tonight. That put the Leafs in front 4-2. Minnesota rallied late, scored their first 6-on-5 goal of the season, courtesy of Matt Zuccarello. But then Matt Murray stopped Kirill Kaprizov in the closing seconds to seal the 4-3 win. Murray was in the middle of a lot of the excitement around here today because he three times knocked the net off and got whistles at critical times. And after the game, Dean Evason commented. Well, the second one, for sure, he literally, and, and our Freddie Shabbat said it's a, it's a trend with that goaltender. So, like, you can't knock the net off three times and not get anything out of it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, we have offensive time in there and sustained time. We could get more opportunities, and, and all of a sudden, boy, it's stalled out and momentum's gone and, and whatever. I, I don't understand it. Murray wasn't whistled for a violation on any of the three plays, and it helped the Leafs escape with a 4-3 win. Three games left on the homestand for Minnesota starting Sunday at 12.30 when they play host to the Arizona Coyotes. This has been our Wild Breakaway, presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington.